Zweetieans, welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Zweetie Pie, and today we are back with the mod with me. And I got several different mods. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different ones we're going to look at. They're all extremely similar um, and all from around The Sims 4. If you haven't heard of them, they are great and do wonderful content. The first one is a booster chair for the table. So you can have your toddlers eat with you at the table and have a family meal with them being little, which is adorably cute, horrible to execute. Horrible executions. Um, it is extremely fidgety. There's all these rules about it. Uh, you have to place the mat precisely just right under everything and lining up the booster seat and it's I can't get it to work so I have a set up today we are going to see if I can get it to work but I doubt I can get it to work um so would I keep this mod in my game no I would not extremely cute very sad um would love to use it even the mat underneath it doesn't bother me um, it keeps other sims from using it because they'll just sit on there and you'll have a floating little booster chair. So, um, it works just like the high chair and stuff. So, but it is cute. Um, the next one is Ikea toddler stuff and basic clutter. So, you got a new bed, mattress, new potties. You got diaper box, diapers, bottles, and a Ikea high chair. You have all these mattresses here, and you just have all of this. Um, I really like it for the clutter, the diaper box, the diaper, the bottles. I like to have those around in my nursery. They just look more realistic. And yes, I know I can get a diaper and I can get a bottle from Debug, but you have to go all the way into the Debug. You got to search through everything. This here, I can type diaper. It could come up. I type bottle. It comes up way much easier and I like it so there's that one the next one we're gonna look at the sweet buddies nursery so it comes with all of this you get the crib you get that you get the nursery set bookcase a little blankie some clutter down here and the little um, toy thing so you got the changing table cradle veil baby suitcase comforter play mat dress coat rack the sleeping bag um the bookcase the bunny night light the rabbit toy um it's all really cute it is definitely adorable and i keep clicking on these things gosh darn it and they keep coming up so i'm sorry and then this one here is really great it is more toddler activities so you got a toddler bookcase you got world you got puzzles you got paint you got play-doh you got scissors and stuff you got gardening it's just so cute there's different activities that they have so they aren't always doing the same thing now it is using the same thing it's using the blocks so you'll hear block sounds when they're playing with it but you won't see the blocks. The blocks are invisible. See, you get that and it makes the blocks invisible. Which, you know, is really nice if you're doing storytelling. You want some realisticness. It even has the little paint things on it so you can paint them up and stuff. It's really adorable. I like it. To go with it we have this pack here which is the preschool stuff so you get the shelves you get more toys which is all off of either the dollhouse because you can see there's a dollhouse here there's a dollhouse up here or it's off the nesting block so they get imagination or they can stack and think so it does cover quite a few skills um, also get this great table and chairs which i do like and it works as high chairs. So you get an abacus, bells, cards, color box cubes, disc horizontal tubes, 
vertical dowels, dressing frames, permanent box, puzzles, screw and unscrew, new blocks, Chattanooga new castle, um, farm, mansion, space, city, you get cards, you get color cards, you get androids. You get puzzles, you get the new globe, you get a pot and pin, you get shape sculptures, trays, empty shelves, rounded empty shelves, bookcase, the low table, the chair, and the invisible nesting box to play with the toys. So you can make like a whole huge nursery for your kids or a daycare center you're taking care of kids and is preschool area it is just definitely cute the next one we're gonna look at is the toaster mod I have not played with this one off screen yet so we're going to figure this one out together it shouldn't be too hard and stuff you have the toaster mod here you have the different toasters five of them and then you have different foods that come with it that you have to download and that's a toaster and then the next you have drink oh baby an electric bottle warmer generating 16 new recipes of drinks for toddlers so they now get carrot apple pear blueberry apple pouches banana strawberry sweet potato pouches you can do f bottles fruits milk water on the sippy cups, there's beavers, fox, frogs, ladybugs, mouse, owl, um, a new ladybug, a monkey, a different owl, and then the bottle warmer itself. So you can get them all different drinks, which is really nice. Then we're going to try the Nutra Baby, an electric steamer generating eight new recipes for toddlers. So they get mashed carrots and breaded tofu, peas and pizzas, red lentils and griu, I can't pronounce that, um, mashed potatoes and hams, lentils and bread, ladybug flat mush, monkey flat mush, owl's flat mush, and then the Nutra Baby steamer. And then last but not least, we have toddler play pens. So if you like the play pens in The Sims 3 to corral your little toddlers and not have them wandering everywhere, they are back and you can have them. So they come in this one, which looks a lot like The Sims 3. Then there's just the wooden one, and then there's a mesh looking one that you can get and stuff. And you can put all the different toys in it from the other stuff. So some of these mods kind of work together with the other ones. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and showcase them all together. And I have us a family up. This is Tegan Miti, and she has a baby, Corbin. And I'll put up the walls here. And this is her little nursery. This is the little nursery set it come with. I added the white rocking chair. It doesn't come with this and the wallpaper um, and these decals. That's a whole nother nursery set I have on my Tumblr. So if you want that, just go to my Tumblr. It is there and you'll find it. It's under Zweedieville. This is the Ikea bed. We have the whole kid corner over here. Like if you had a little daycare center, I have all the toys up and a little extra clutter and stuff you got dollhouse you got the potty we got the body warmer and the nutra thingy then we have this little chair and mat which you get for um toddlers to eat then we got the table so we'll see if we can get all of that to work but the first thing we got to do is age up our little one Come on, little Corbin. And he is going to be inquisitive. Oh, he's got mommy's 
blonde hair. He's dark like his daddy. Which mommy's decently dark too. She's got a little tan to her. Okay, so let's put Corbin here. Let's see if we can put him in. Nope, I got something wrong. All right, let's try that again. If my game would quit lagging. Put Corbin here. There we go. Let's grab Corbin. Toddler Mill, let's get him a monkey mush. And where are you going with the monkey mush? Oh, she's going to go put it all the way down here. I have this stuff set up too. Thank you. I'll bring it up here to Corbin myself. Got lost in the house. There we go. There's baby Corbin. Oh. Let's get on Corbin. Eat mush. Are you going to eat it? Okay, I got something wrong. Well, we just messed that up. Put Corbin here. All right. Give food. No, I don't want to go cook. Let's give him a drink. Give him water. All right, Corbin, there you go. And he'll sit there and it'll be like a little high chair, but it looks like he's sitting and you can sit him in the living room in his own little chair or TV tray. And that is what that looks like. Uh, let's let Corbin out. I think it's totally cute, but it's fidgety. You have to have it set just right as you've seen um, for it to work. And sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. All right, Mom. Let's, let's go downstairs. And my filthy kitchen, ignore that. Put Corbin down here. Nope, something's wrong. Put Corbin here. Let's see if I got this one right. I got that one right. 
give food. Let's give Corbin some applesauce. There we go. And then Corbin will eat applesauce and he'll sit at like a little table. And it's so cute. Let's take a look. Ignore the messy kitchen. I'm trying to do the fabulously filthy. And she has to cook three meals from a dirty, filthy kitchen. Prepare a toddler meal. Let's do mashed potatoes and ham. So get like a little fridge animation. Oh, he threw his food. There we go. Let's see, can we tell him to eat it and he'll eat? Or because... Oh, he wants out. Put Corbin down here. Put Corbin here. And this works if you don't like to use the high chairs and you just want the extra food and want it to look like that. The babies can, you can click on it, open, and it opens the fridge so you can pull out stuff. Um, so it is connected to the fridge. Prepare a toddler drink. Let's do a fruit bottle. Let's put Corbin here. There we go. Corbin, let's drink. Let's just fix your needs here. Oh. Oh, she put it on that chair. So there we go. Tegan, you're not going to go to work. I need you to... Take a vacation. No. Work. Take family leave. Alright. Then you can click on the high chair and click clean empty plates and all that, which is really cute. Let out. Let's put Corbin down here. Why don't you go to bed? Let's play with Corbin for a minute. He can play dolls. So this is what playing dolls look like. We grab that little invisible doll and they do the playhouse animation. That one's not so great. Um, thought I got a little house one but I don't think I did. Let's go grab one real quick. So if you go in build mode, whoops, kids. Toys. They are all here. Let's grab the farmhouse. Let's play with that one. So that one, he has the doll. This one, because it's blocks, it's invisible. So. 
they're all a little different as to what you want. So the animations is off as if you size down the regular houses in the game anyways, so. Um, then the books here, um, he can do what they normally do in bookcases. Oh, he doesn't have a high enough imagination skill yet, so he can't look at the books just yet. But I placed toys up here. He can stack. Let's see him come stack. So you got the animations just like the stacking blocks, but they're invisible. So it looks like he's playing with that on the shelf. And if you move it off the shelf, he'll still play with it. Just that's where I have it. So you can place it on the shelf and they'll sit in front of it and play with it, which is totally cute. You got the decor bottle here. Diapers and decor over there. And I think that's it, guys. I've showed you everything. Let's double check and make sure. Oh, I forgot to show the playpen. So we need to put him in the playpen. So I can't get that to work, so we gave up. I uh, showed off that. We showed that. Showed this. Um, I didn't make them filthy or nothing. I didn't download that. I was more interested in this section to keep in my game. Oh, we gotta check out the toasters. We checked out these, so the playpen and the toaster. Alright, mom. Come pick up Corbin. All right, Corbin, let's solve your needs here. Go here, Corbin. Pick up. In my filthy kitchen. Let's zoom over to playpen. Put Corbin down here. Oh, pick up Corbin. I know this works. I've used the playpen. Put Corbin down here. There we go. And in he goes. And now we be Corbin and say we want to go here. He can't. But he can play with all of his stuff here. And have a good day all time in the playpen while mom takes care of stuff. And you got your little toddler corralled. Love it. Love the playpen. And she needs to check the toaster. She's in here cooking. Let's not. Let's check the toaster here. Use toaster. Let's get bagel and jam. So she goes to the fridge and gets bagel and jam. That's using the toaster. Well, that's horrible. Yeah, I know. Your home is dirty. It's supposed to be. We're doing the aspiration. For the new kit pack. So I'm going to let her eat this. I'm going to try one more time. Use toaster. Let's do a croissant. No, let's just do toast. Use toaster. And get toast. She got it out of the fridge again. So... 
All right, toaster, cute for decor. They don't even go there to get the food, so that makes me a bit upset. Um, pick up Corbin. Go here. Pick up. Yeah, they can't be in the middle um, to get picked up. The animation is off, so. Has to go there. Read Corbin to sleep. Time to let Corbin have a nap. But that is everything, guys, and he's using the little bed now, so you can see the bed works just like any other bed. It's totally cute. If you have any questions about any mods, leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, like I said, the mods are really great. Would I keep some of them in my game? No. Um, let's recap here. The... Booster chair? No, I would not keep. Totally cute, wouldn't keep. The toddler basic Ikea clutter stuff? Would totally keep it. I don't use high chairs, I don't like them. So, I wouldn't use the high chair part of this, but the rest of this is totally cute and I love it. Um, the Sweet Buddy's Nursery? Totally cute, would keep it in the game. Just for aesthetic reasons, that looks more like something you get in the doctor's office than what I'd have in a nursery. So I don't like that, but I like everything else. Um, around the Sims for more toddler activities. I love the looks of the different stuff that they're doing. So would I keep this in my game and have paint and Play-Doh and all of that? Yes, I would do that. Um, the ABC preschool stuff. From Sims, around the Sims 4, would I keep all of this? Yes, I would. Um, once again, I like the different stuff. Even though they're the learning the same thing, I like the different things that they're doing. I like this table as a high chair, um, especially if you have twins or quadruplets or something, or you're doing, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's cute. And you can accommodate all the kids in one small space instead of the high chairs. It does work very well. Um, I've used it in my personal game of view. So it does work. Do I like the high chairs a lot? No. Would I use this part a lot for high chairs? No. I'd use it more for aesthetics looks. Um, but I do like it. The toasters. Alright. It gives you new food. You don't get the food from the toaster. They don't go over to the toaster to get it, which is kind of really sad. Um, I don't like it for that reason. Would I use it for aesthetics on the counter? Yes, I would. The Drinko Baby. Um, would I keep this in my game? I like the different drinks and the different aesthetic stuff it gives for the toddlers and stuff. Just a drink doesn't really fill them up much, so would I keep this? I probably would for a little bit, but I wouldn't use it that much. I'll be honest. The Nutribaby Electronic Steaming Generation 8 New Recipes, would I keep this? Yes, I would keep this. I like this. I like the new recipes for the toddlers. Um, you can have mom get it and set it down. The toddlers can run over and grab it. Um... You don't have to use the high chairs. If you do use the high chairs, they'll put them on there. So, it's great. I love it. Toddler play pins. <laughs> they are the bomb. I do love these a lot. Would I keep this in my game? Yes, I would. Um, especially with the little extra toys they give. I just think it works so well with it. So, that is the recap, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what was your favorite. And what one you can't wait to download. And until next week, all my Sweetians out there, have a Sweetie-licious day. Bye, guys!